Today, I want to give you five easy habit changes that I'm going to make that's going to help me lose 100 pounds in this first year. Now, I've already lost 100 pounds before and gained it back. If you'd like to hear that story, I will put a link up here in the uh, video that you can click on and go watch that video. It tells you everything about how I lost and gained weight back again. But that's not what we're here for today. Today, we're going to talk about some habit changes. And one of the first habit changes that I'm going to make is I'm going to make sure that I get 10,000 steps a day. Getting 10,000 steps a day is not an easy task for a lot of people. And it ain't for me, especially because I'm pretty much at a desk all day long. So I usually get before after work between two and 3,000 steps. So that means I have 7,000 steps more I've got to get once I get home. So generally what I do is I will go to the track and I'll walk for an hour <clears throat> and I'm working my way up to running. But right now I'm walking and generally in one hour, I can get somewhere around seven to 8,000 steps. The next habit I want to talk about is drinking enough water a day. You need to figure out your body type, which I already have. You need to figure out how much water you need to drink a day to stay hydrated. What I recommend doing is getting a water bottle, figuring out how many times a day you need to fill that water bottle up. Like I have a water bottle and I fill it up. I know I need to drink it twice a day, that full bottle's worth. And my bottle looks like this right here. This is my water bottle. If I fill this thing up twice, I've had my water for that day. Now. What I don't recommend doing is getting a water bottle that's too small, having to fill it up 37 times a day because you'll lose count on how many times you filled it up or haven't filled it up. Better to get a, as big as water bottle as you can muster during the day. Of course, like Tom Brady, he carries around a freaking gallon jug, I think, all day long. And, or how much ever water he has to drink a day, he, he carries it in one bottle. If you can do that, more power to you. I suggest getting a smaller bottle. But get one that you don't have to fill up as often. So my third tip in order to lose the 100 pounds in a year, <laughs> again, is uh, cutting meal portions. I'm not really going on a huge diet. I'm just going to quit eating a lot of processed foods, a lot of fast foods, uh, snacky time chips, you know, candy bars, snack cakes, things of that nature, drinking water. I quit drinking beer and any alcohol, any Cokes, anything besides water I've completely cut out. So the only thing I drink during the day at any time, whether it be a meal or just have a bottle of water, it, all I drink is water. All right, guys, about time for the final tip. I'm sorry if it's windy out, but we're walking. So my final tip is to uh, plan out your meals during the week, a week ahead of time. Monday through Friday. And then Saturday is usually my cheat day. And then Sunday is usually my meal prep day. That's how I do over the whole weekend. And guys, one last thing, just as a bonus tip, plan out your workout clothes. Lay them out for the week. Uh, Monday through Friday, how many days you work out, lay them all out and get them all ready. And that way you can be scrounging for something to wear during the week and then wash them on Sunday and get ready for the following week. It makes it so much easier when you do that. It sounds simple, but it's hard to do in practice. Workout completed. Time, one hour, six minutes, 34 seconds. Distance, 3.36 miles. Average pace, 19.48 per mile. All right, guys, we're done with our one hour for today of exercise. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below and the like button, guys, because it will help out tremendously. Uh, with that being said, we will see you in the next video.